Today, I'll show you how to create pricing tables like this. This or this from scratch using only the free version of Elementor. The main steps of creating any of these designs are similar, and this tutorial will give you a good foundation to design any pricing table design you need. We'll keep it simple and easy to follow, so let's begin. So first, let's create a new section for our pricing table. I'll call it this, and then click here to add the first container, and select this two column structure. Then you can duplicate this column to create the third column. Set the minimum height of the container to VH100. Next, go to the Style tab and choose a background gradient color. Let's keep it as this nice shade like this. You will also need to add some padding to it. Go to the Advanced tab and put a padding of 2%. Now, we're going to work with the middle column. Select the middle column and then under the Style tab, change the background color to white. Go to Border and then create a border radius of 15 pixels. Click on Box Shadow and put a horizontal box shadow value of 7 and a blur value of 70. Great, now go to the advanced tab and unlink the values in the margin section. Put a margin of 30 pixels at the top and bottom and 15 pixels at the two sides. Add a padding of 50 pixels at the top and bottom and 20 pixels on both sides. Okay, now go to your widgets and drag and drop the heading widget in this column. Let's change the heading and call it advanced plan. I will change the color of the text to black like this, then go to the style tab and align the heading text to the center. Next, duplicate the heading four times. We're also going to add a CTA button. Go to widgets and drag and drop a button widget here. You can edit it later. Delete the last heading here. Click on the third heading and type $80. Next, go to the style tab and change its size to 132 pixels. Keep its weight as 600 semi bold. Select the fourth heading and type per month. In the style tab, change its weight to 500 medium and the size to 20 pixels. Now drag and drop a text editor widget just under the first heading. You can then delete the second heading. Let's add some text to it that will let the users know about the services they can receive from this package. Then change the color of the text to black from the color picker and make the font bold. Align the text to the center like this. Now, let's edit the button. First, I will change the text of the button to join now. Under style, align the button to the center. We will change the background color of the button to black and keep the text white. Next, we're also going to put in some border radius to the button. So, add a border radius of 25. We're also going to add a hover effect to the button. So, under hover, set the text color as black and the background color as white. Now that the middle column is done, let's duplicate this column twice and delete these blank columns. Next, change the heading, pricing, and other package details for these two columns. There, this looks good. Let's now change the color of the middle column. Select the middle column and under style, click on the color gradient. Here, I will choose an orangish color at the top and a shade of pink for the bottom. You can pick any color you prefer, just make sure that they go well with each other. I will also change the hover color for the first and second columns. Let's choose a pink shade for the hover color. I will also copy the color code here and paste it for the other button here. There, now everything's looking nice. Before you go ahead, you need to make sure that the design is responsive. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Their support is highly responsive, so if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. So go to the tablet view and by selecting the first column, set its column width to 100%. Similarly, do the same for the other two columns as well. Now select the main container and make the column vertical like this. There, now it looks good. I will also change the padding of the container and put 5% to the top and bottom and 25% to both sides. Let's go to the mobile view. I will put a padding of 5% on all sides. The font size for the price also looks bigger on the mobile screen, 
So I'm going to change it to 115 pixels and do the same for the other two columns. You can also add this pricing table to any page and edit it as you like. Let's work with this one. Now add a new container here and insert the pricing list template that you've just created. Here you need to change some of these font and background colors just so that it matches the page design that you're using. So I will change the font color of my pricing list heading like this and do the same for the other components of the design. Now we need to change the background color of the main pricing list. To do that, select this container and as before, go to style, then copy the color code. Then go down to your price list, select the main container and change the primary and second color under style by pasting the color code here. We can also copy this copyright and social media section from here and put it under the price list container. You can keep this section here if you like and just delete the social icons and copyright notice here. I will also put the code for the darker shade from my pricing list background color in this container. There you go. Now you can go ahead and publish. So let's preview it. Yeah, this looks nice. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.